Let's do an example of how you might find the sine, cosine, or tangent at an angle at an increment of pi thirds. Okay? So before we do this, let's go ahead and review the pi thirds, pi six, right triangle. Remember the special relationship if I'm given a pi thirds, pi six, right triangle. It's a one, two, square root three, where the square root of three always goes opposite to pi thirds. That would have to be one, and this would be two. So for example, if I just wanted to figure out the sine of pi thirds, well, if I know my triangle, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse. How about the um, cotangent of pi thirds? If that was a question on a quiz or an exam or your homework. Well, cotangent, remember, that's the reciprocal of tangent. Okay. Tangent was opposite over adjacent. Cotangent, therefore, must be adjacent over opposite. Okay. So you may see your answer as 1 over root 3. Or if you want to rationalize to get rid of that uh, square root in the denominator, square root 3 over 3. You may see either. Okay. Now, what if we're given something like 4 pi thirds? Let's go ahead and do this example. Good little test question right there. Find the secant of 4 pi thirds. Of course, when you take your test, you will not have a calculator handy. So you'll have to be able to do this by hand. So let's go ahead, draw a circle. Okay. Let's find the angle 4 pi thirds. We'll label our tr little triangle that we get. And this will be easy. So first of all, let's find 4 pi thirds. Well, 3 pi thirds, that's the straight angle pi. So there's 3 pi thirds plus another pi thirds. Gets us to there. There's an angle of 4 pi thirds. Now let's go ahead and construct a triangle here. Okay. So that angle right there is pi thirds. So I know my relationship. Notice I'm not using the unit circle here. However, you can do that. I think this is easier. So this is pi over 3. This angle, or this, excuse me, this side must be square root 3. But notice it's in the negative y direction. So that y value is negative square root 3. This is 2. This must be 1, but I'm in the negative x direction. So I have negative so given an angle 4 pi thirds, I've constructed my little right triangle. And now the secant of 4 pi thirds, remember secant was um, hypotenuse over adjacent, because secant was a reciprocal of cosine. Hypotenuse is 2, adjacent is negative 1, so the secant of 4 pi thirds is negative 2. If I wanted to say, the tangent of 4 pi thirds, we just have to know the relationship. Tangent was opposite over adjacent. And the opposite side is negative square root 3. The adjacent side is negative 1, which is positive square root 3. Okay, so it is very important that you know our special right triangles. And there's only two to memorize the pi thirds, pi six right triangle, and the pi over four right triangle. Then we can evaluate any uh, angle, at increments of pi fourths, increments of pi thirds, increments of pi six, and of course we can use the unit circle to do zero pi halves, pi, three pi halves, etc. Okay? You might want to review these lectures again, and certainly you'll have plenty of homework to practice on.